Hey everybody, I'm L'Oreal Lucci, your BFF checking in with your news and entertainment stories, so let's get right to it. Now, Danny Lay, I love her visual album, by the way, movie, so make sure you go support that and check that out, all right? But Danny Lay, she shut everybody up and let it be known that the baby is her baby. She posted a picture of her with him on her Instagram, and in the caption says, my baby, I don't care. Now, I didn't see the baby leave any comments under the post, but but his baby mama Mimi definitely felt the type of way. Now, Mimi posted a picture of her and the baby on her Instagram stories and wrote, was this a month ago? Along with some crying, laughing emojis. And in another post she put, I got the say so, I called the quits. I prepare y'all for everything. Don't let this go over your heads. Now, I'm not sure if those were the baby lyrics. I put it up on Google and it didn't pop up, so I'm really not even sure what she meant by that. I'm gonna need my besties to chime in and help me figure out what does she even mean by all of that? Like, it didn't sound good. But it's no secret. I mean, we all know Mimi and Danny Lay aren't fans of each other. Earlier in the year when DaBaby and Danny were messing around, Mimi accused Danny of being obsessed with her, but Danny never really entertained Mimi. Now on a low, Danny has been minding her business, drinking her water, and looking very good in the process. So whatever you're doing, Danny, keep on doing it. Now moving on, I wanna talk about this messy Larsa Pippen story. Y'all know Larsa Pippen, Scotty Pippen's estranged wife. Well, I'm sure y'all heard the news earlier this week. Larsa was spotted out holding hands with a married man, another NBA player, Malik Beasley. Now, y'all know I really don't cover sports and I really have no idea who this man is, but apparently Larsa does. Anyway, moving on, they were spotted out holding hands in Miami, Malik's wife found out when everyone else found out on the internet and obviously was pissed but i'm hearing that malik and his wife are separated so I don't really know. It's just really, really messy. But anyway, Larsa and Malik received a lot of backlash. Larsa's own son was even embarrassed and liked a few posts online that made jokes about the situation. I mean, he clearly wants no part in the drama. But recently, Larsa was spotted taking that quote-unquote walk of shame back to Scotty's house. Yes, Scotty Pippen. <laughs> I'm just here for the memes and I wanted to share them with y'all. And uh, Larsa is also half of Malik's age. I believe he's about 24. So yeah, this is all a hot mess. Now on a positive note, Keisha Cole and Ashanti are gonna battle it out in the next verses. Now, this one is truly, truly for the culture. Now. I can't even say who I think has the bigger hits because Ashanti and Keisha Cole, they both made a huge impact on the industry. Their music is timeless and they're just both so dope and I love them both. So this one is going to be really, really, really good. I'm super excited. Shout outs to Swiss Beats and Timberland, always putting on for the culture. Make sure y'all tune in December 12th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And before I get out of here, I want to give a shout out to New York Governor Cuomo. He is on the same type of time we are on. Where is our stimulus checks? Now, the other day he tweeted out, the federal government must pass a COVID stimulus bill now. A proposal is on the table that will help struggling Americans and provide some state aid. Something is better than nothing. I urge Congress to pass it. Word, we urge them to pass that stimulus check. And before I go, definitely got to give a big shout out to my homie Milk for blessing me with this dope sweatshirt make sure you go follow him on instagram milk moving silence he got a whole bunch of dope clothing i right? black owned business too okay i love y'all for watching i'm maria lucci that's your bff check-in